anyway, hopefully you're well. I wanted to pop on uh, quickly just while I remembered today, there was a, a story uh, in the Sunday Life about, uh, about me and uh, being just inundated. I wanted to thank everybody who shouted in with a, a, a nice message today. Firstly, by the way, I'm totally fine. This sort of stuff does not phase me in the slightest. This is the, the story uh, from a few weeks ago where uh, I went out on the night of the, the bars reopening and of course there were a lot of people, a lot of negative Nancys out there. They didn't like that so much and it upset them greatly. They were deeply offended. So, um, so that's okay. Um, no big deal. But I think like a lot of these things is then when it spills over into something that becomes a little bit more personal or vile um, or starts to be more targeted towards members of your family or friends, then you kind of have to draw a bit of a line under it. If you don't know what I'm referring to, uh, this was the story uh, today in the Sunday Life, uh, who did a nice little write up on this. And this was just sort of me saying, like the bars are open, people are going to use them. The restaurants are open, people are going to use them. Uh, the hospitality industry is trying to get back on its feet. They're doing so responsibly. And from what I witness in around Belfast, people going out are doing so responsibly as well. Uh, of course, it's horses for courses, each to their own. Not everybody's ready to go out and about yet, and that's totally fine. People will have their own reasons for it. But it shouldn't really mean that someone else is fair game to be given a kick in on social media just because it doesn't fit in with people's own personal uh, agenda, whatever. So anyway, look, no big deal to me. I'm a big boy. I've been doing uh, radio media for 25 years now. I go back long enough now that when people wanted to previously tell me that I sucked and had to get off the air, they had to write a letter or send a fax. It's easy for them now with Twitter and Facebook and so on, but that's okay, so I'm totally fine with it. But what I do wanna actually briefly just talk about, um, which bothers me more than that, is the actual story right below the one about me, which is about this young lady here, who, by the way, I do not know personally, but we have uh, mutual friends, and it seems that this is a bit of a, a trend. So this is um, Tiffany Bryan from uh, Hollywood, I think. And she had a big Instagram following and she has actually gone offline over the weekend because of the same kind of stuff. And it sort of struck me, and as I said earlier, whilst I, um, I, I can take it on the chin, whatever, um, I think when you see the amount of, of vile nonsense out there being, uh, put in the direction of, of young people, particularly young women. I have a teenage daughter. I would hate to think that this is the world they're all going to inherit and that this somehow just becomes the norm where this kind of um, vile, abusive trolling to the point where that girl, uh, Tiffany, who I think is, a, she's an ex Miss Northern Ireland, um, but she had a, a big fitness blog following on Instagram over recent years and she's had to close it down and that's that's really quite sad that that, that a young girl a young businesswoman has had to do that and uh, and again for anyone with with kids but again you always feel particularly for your for your daughters when you see them scrolling through instagram snapchat what are the kind of pressures that exist in that space for young people and um you know who's on the other end passing comment and uh, and so on and, and as I say not everybody is is equipped to deal with it and kind of shrug it off um, as just a few clampets or a few clowns um, uh, spouting off on social media so that that story below mine actually resonated more with me um, because that's completely driven her off off the platform which is really very sad. Thank you, by the way, for all the messages coming in there. I see those uh, and I really appreciate it. Um, when I looked into that, that story a wee bit more, and it's there again, the Sunday life, I'll not mention the, uh, I'll not mention the website and give them publicity, but from what I can gather it, there's actually a, a website that exists that nearly, albeit actively promotes what they're calling critiquing 
of uh, social media bloggers and influencers. And it actually goes as far as to say on the description on the website that if people make their money out of promoting themselves on social media uh, and Instagram and places like that, if they make a living out of it, this is the place to, to comment on that and to critique it. And of course, you can imagine that when you, you invite that kind of conversation into a, a website, into an, an anonymous forum, what you're going to get. And it seems that that poor girl, maybe along with so many others that I see, people that I know as well and have had a look at it, and there's a lot of names that I know of people who have just been uh, really nastily abused and trolled with some really disgusting, vile stuff on there. It is unbelievable how in this day and age uh, they get away with it. So, um, so I really, I feel, as I say, not so much about myself, couldn't really give a toss, frankly, about that. But young people on social media, um, young women, particularly girls like Tiffany there. And then, as I say, you think about your own kids and the, the world that they're going to come up through already. My daughter's got her Instagram and her Snapchat and TikTok. And uh, you just worry about you know, what sort of messages they're getting and what sort of comments they're getting and the pressures that exist. And once I read through the, the, the forum on this website, which again, I'm not mentioning the name of it, it's really just shocking the, uh, the, the sort of commentary that's being leveled at people under the guise, well, they're on Instagram, they're making money out of Instagram or blogging or whatever. So in other words, they're their fair game and it's so uh, to me it just seems so unfair and I think again for particularly for people who maybe have become quite well known or renowned through YouTube or Instagram there needs to be nearly a, a distinction drawn between those people and maybe people like myself who've been around for a while and have been on radio since back in the, the 90s people on, on TV radio Traditionally, you always kind of knew what you were getting into and you dealt with criticism and feedback and you, and you had that kind of, you had that more in your sort of DNA to, to deal with it. But if you all of a sudden nowadays find yourself on a, a digital platform like YouTube with tens of thousands of subscribers, overnight, a lot of young people, you know, there's a young lad I'm talking to uh, on the show very soon from, from Derry. Adam B, 3 million subscribers on YouTube, 20 years of age. That's all great. But at that age, how well equipped are you to deal overnight with that kind of success, with all the nastiness that goes with it? And that's a, that's a big, big thing, a big concern that's not being talked about enough. Uh, when you think of everything that else that's going on in the world. A lot of people are saying, yeah, remember, be kind. Yeah, I remember, be kind. Be kind was followed by the following week beating someone over the head in a, an aisle in Tesco's to get in the pack of kitten soft. That's how long be kind lasted. It was like a seven day thing. And it seems to me that kind of stuff in the paper there today, it's just, uh, it's getting worse and worse. It's really quite worrying. I, I can see all the people shouting in there. Um, too many to mention but I appreciate all the feedback. I just wanted to jump on and uh, and comment on that and uh, I think it's something we probably will highlight a wee bit more through the, the radio and through the, the radio show as I say because there'll be a lot of young people I think who are finding themselves more and more on social media platforms dealing with that kind of stuff and dealing with it kind of behind closed doors and not really knowing how to properly deal with it and as I say it's a real shame that that girl, Tiffany, has actually had to, to come off and delete what was by all accounts a really successful social media page she had because of just the amount of, uh, of vile crap she's been getting from people. Anyway, never worry. Uh, Jackie Atkinson, thanks for shouting in. Good to hear from you. Karen Armstrong, thanks for that. Uh, Anne Raff, yeah, completely agree. Anne. Uh, Wendy, Dorothy, Charmaine, Katrina, loads of your comments as well, please. Uh, and you can keep those uh, coming through. So yeah, no quiz tonight, but I've got a clean car. I've filled up my, my water on my wash wipers for the first time in like 
a year, which is great because I can see out the window again for no other reason other than I've just been bone idle, just completely lazy. So I've got a bit to do. Uh, I got a bit done around the house today as well. I got a walk in as well along the lag and it was lovely earlier, nice and bright, sunny afternoon, uh, but no quiz uh, today because of course lockdown. Well, as I know, locked, I thought lockdown was over and then I went out and had a drink and apparently God, they lit on me. I couldn't do it. It was I was out there spreading the coronavirus all over the place, so I was if you listen to some of them. Um, so because we are moving back to some sense of normality, uh, the quiz finished off last Sunday, uh, but we'll have some good new competitions coming over the next few days and weeks. So uh, watch this space. And of course, the big one, the big, big one coming on Cool FM this week in Downtown Radio, the call, a £42,000 prize package is gonna be won by one lucky person. Don't forget that, John Kern's making the call on Friday afternoon. Listen in this week for full details. If you're not already in the running, how you can win that prize, it's worth 32,000 pound cash and a 10 grand sweetener will throw in to pay off some of your bills, put towards a house or a new car or maybe a, a holiday around the world whenever we can actually fly around the world would be quite nice. Uh, that's coming on Cool FM this week. Uh, a big money prize, uh, 42,000 pounds worth. Right, have a great Sunday. Thanks for listening to my rant. Be kind if you can. Not everyone can manage it, but be kind. We'll try to be kind. And uh, have a good night, everybody. We'll check in soon. Oh, yes, next uh, COVID update, by the way, tomorrow, 4 o'clock, Facebook Live. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.